Hey, welcome everyone. And this is going to be a quick tutorial for all you new sim magician owners out there. I'm going to show you how to get Dirt 4 working with your new wheelbase. And the first step is to go to the Sim Magic Google Drive link. I'll have it down in the description for you guys. It's going to take you to this Dirt 4 file. We're going to want to download that. Click the button in the top right corner. Save it wherever you want. Once that's done, close out of here. We want to extract that zip file that we just downloaded. And that's going to give us a folder with two files that we need to transfer into the game folder. Now the easiest way to get to that game folder is to open up Steam. Right click on Dirt 4, go to Manage, and then click on Browse Local Files. That's going to open up another folder with your game executable. We're going to want to open up the uh, input folder then open up the action maps folder and transfer over the SimMagic DDW XML file. Replace if it asks you. Go back up, go into the devices folder and transfer over the device defines XML. Replace that. And once that's done, you guys are good to go. You can go in game and start binding your gear. If you're unsure on how to do that, keep watching this video and I'll show you. Alright, so we got race manager running in the background. We have our wheelbase turned on and calibrated and we have Dirt 4 running. From here we need to go to options and extras. Click on input. And click on steering device and make sure sim magic is selected. Now we have to go to device management here and we need to go through and assign all of our gear individually. For instance, handbrake, you want to make sure the type is handbrake. Click on input bindings and you only want to assign that one piece of gear, no other gear. Once you're done, click apply and you're going to go through and set up each piece the same way. Anything with an axis though, once you're done binding your uh, gear and applying it you're going to go to uh, advanced and this is where you're going to set up all of your dead zones and saturation points for all of your pedals your steering wheel anything with an axis on it click apply sim magic should be your last one this is where you're going to bind all your your buttons um, once you're done with that click apply if this pops up, that's fine. We have some buttons mapped for the menu. Just click continue. Uh, click on advanced. You can set the dead zone to zero, saturation 100. Click apply. And then under vibration and feedback, this is where you're gonna set your force feedback. You can try these settings out or adjust them to your liking. And once you're done, click apply. And then there's one more step. That's to go to this calibration wizard here. And we need to run through all of these steps here. So you're going to turn the wheel all the way in one direction or the other. Okay. Recenter and turn it 90 degrees to the left or right. Mine's about 540. It's close enough. For the pedals, you just want to push down each pedal till it reaches 100%. And then click continue. And that is it. Your gear is all calibrated and all of your buttons have been mapped. You guys are ready to race. So if this video helped you out at all, click that like button. And you want to see more content like this, click that subscribe button. So until my next video, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.